Hi, my name's Emma, and I'm a huge book nerd. You're my library, always so good for business, but you never show it. You're just sitting with it, but I know the score, and you're killing it. Today I'm going to be doing a great big book unhaul, because I recently posted a great big book haul, and I need to clean out some of the books that I already have. I will be selling these and also donating them. I'm going to try to sell them first so I can make a little bit of money back. Let's just jump right in. I'm getting rid of this collection of Greek and Roman tragedies. You can find all of those online. I don't need the book. Another play, I'm getting rid of Galileo by Bertolt Brecht. I liked this play, but it's not one of my favorites and I don't see it being particularly useful to me. Then I also have this collection of plays by Ben Jonson, uh, including The Alchemist, which is his most famous play. Again, don't really see how those will be super useful to me and I can find them other places. Then I've got this copy of... Three Uses of the Knife on the Nature and Purpose of Drama by David Mamet. This is a book on theater that was recommended by my playwriting teacher a long time ago, and I read it. Um, I got some good stuff out of it, but it's not one that I see myself like referencing often, so goodbye. Then there's Kennedy and Nixon by Chris Matthews, which is a nonfiction book about Kennedy and Nixon. Uh, this was actually really good. I read this for an honors class I took, but I just, I'm never gonna reread it, so. Then here's another nonfiction, Her Brilliant Career by Rachel Cook. Uh, this is interesting. Again, I'm just never gonna reread it. I love the cover of this one though. Like, look at it, it's so pretty. Then I've got this uh, Jump Into Jazz book, which is a textbook for a jazz class. Then one more nonfiction. This is The Structure of Scientific Revolutions by Thomas S. Kuhn with this really beautiful cover. I read this for a class last year and I'm never gonna use it again. <laughs> now we get into the slightly more exciting books. Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. A lot of people love, 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 love this memoir. I am just not a big fan of it. I'm just not. I'm never gonna read it again. I really liked the first section of it. It didn't particularly like the next two sections, just not my cup of tea. Then there is The Most Dangerous Animal of All, Searching for My Father and Finding the Zodiac Killer by Gary L. Stewart and Susan Mustafa. And this is a true crime book about a guy who basically went to find his biological father and now he thinks his biological father is the Zodiac Killer. I really liked reading this, but I'm never gonna reread it. Basically the story with all these books are I'm never gonna reread it. Next is Gazelle in the Shadows by Michelle Peach. Actually I'm getting rid of this because I really didn't like it. I didn't even finish reading it. I read half of it and I was like, just not my cup of tea. I really like the cover of it. This might be good for someone else, but it's not for me. I'm a little bit sad to part with this one, but it is In the Lake of the Woods by Tim O'Brien. Tim O'Brien is one of my favorite authors, and the reason why it makes me a little sad to get rid of this one is because it would be nice to have like a collection of all his books, but then again, this is just not one that I ever see myself rereading. It's not my favorite. There's no reason for me to keep it other than to have a collection of all of his books, which I don't have space for in my life. Next is The Book of Speculation by Erica Swyler. This is another book that is very popular, but I didn't like it. I didn't finish it. I stopped about like 70 pages from the end because I was like, you're not enjoying this. Why are you wasting your time? But a lot of people love this book. It's just not my cup of tea. Next, this is another one I'm a little sad to get rid of. It's The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson, and this book is about a man who has autism and he puts together a test to like find the perfect wife, and then he meets a woman who breaks all of his rules, but he falls in love with her anyway, obviously. It's a really, really cute romance. I really, really liked this, but it's just not one of my favorites, and it's something that I probably will never read again, so I gotta part with it. Then there is Here in Berlin by Christina Garcia. Uh, I got this in a page habit box, and I liked this. I didn't love it. I'm just never gonna reread it. Next is The Beast is an Animal by Peter Nell Van Arsdale, and I hated this. I stopped reading it after the first, like, 50 pages because it's just, I didn't think it was very good. It's also, the story's not my cup of tea. It's kind of like this weird, dark, pioneer fairy tale. It's odd. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanya Menon. I did not like this book. I just couldn't stand Dimple. I couldn't stand her and I thought Rishi was like too good to be true and I don't know, it was just, Super not my cup of tea, but so many people love this, so 
Next is American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. This book made me ill. I will never read it again. It is nauseating. Next is Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. This is a relatively new book. I think it's a very good book, actually. It's just not my favorite, and I really, really hate the cover. So, like, I don't want it to be on display. That's, like, the main reason. I lent this to my sister to read, too, and she really liked it also. She didn't want to keep it, either. Probably because this cover is poop green. Why would you do that? Anyways. Next is Traveling with Pomegranates by Sue Monk Kidd and Anne Kidd Taylor. Sue Monk Kidd also wrote The Secret Life of Bees. I read this book before traveling this summer with my mom. It's a good book. It's not a great book. I'm never gonna reread it. And last but not least, another one I'm a little bit sad to get rid of. It's The Universe vs. Alec Woods by Gavin Extens, and I just thought that this book is so quirky and charming and mysterious and lovely. I like really critically went through my shelf and like, what books can I get rid of that I won't be very sad about getting rid of in the future? And this is one of them. It's just, it's a great book. I really enjoyed reading it. I don't know that I'd get a whole lot out of reading it again, and I'm probably never going to, but, you know, a little sad to get rid of this one. These are all of the 21 books that are leaving my shelf. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing an unhaul. I've never done an unhaul before, so we'll see what you guys think. But anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave comments down below, and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye! Now I was headed to the bus stop, Maddie, you were